What is up YouTube, it is Hayden here, and today I'm back with another testosterone update video. So as most of you seen, there was not a 10 months on T video, that is because I was finishing up the semester, then I went straight to Ohio, came back, celebrated New Year's, and started work again. So this is the first time I have the day off, I get to sit down and kind of chill, so I decided we would make my 11 months on T video. Now, if you did want to hear my voice when it was 10 months, I will do the voice comparison right now. I took a small clip in Ohio of me saying I was 10 months on T, so I'm just going to pop that up in there, and you guys can watch that. Let me know if you've heard my voice change. So, here we go. Hi, my name's Hayden, and I am pre-T. This is my voice one month on testosterone. My name's Hayden, and this is my voice two months on testosterone. This is my voice three months on testosterone. This is my voice four months on testosterone. This is my voice five months on testosterone. This is my voice six months on testosterone. This is my voice seven months on testosterone. This is my voice nine months on testosterone. This is my voice 10 months on testosterone. This is my voice 11 months on testosterone. I think my voice has dropped significantly, um, at least since pre-T. I don't know about the past few months. I haven't heard I'm filming right now, so obviously I haven't heard the change in my voice since I haven't seen the videos put all together yet, but um, I think it's changed a little bit. Uh, I love being able to feel my voice in my chest because I never could do that before. Moving on, we're, we're going head to toe. Starting off with my hair. This is my natural hair color, which I talked about this with my grandma for a little while. I thought it was so cute. She was telling me that I have the same hair color that my mom used to have before she started getting highlights in it. And that like really meant a lot to me to hear that. Anyway, we were talking about her hair color and my grandma's like, you have red, caramel, light brown, and blonde in your hair. I was like, I guess I never realized that. I've always had this like caramel hair color, but there is a tint of red to it. Um, depending on what light you're seeing it in. And my mom had the same color hair, and I thought that was really cool. So, um, yeah, my hair is not dyed. This is my natural hair color. I think it's dope, although I want to dye it a funny color uh, as soon as I get out of this job. Um, I really like having funky hair colors because I was never allowed to dye my hair as a kid, so why not do it now? You feel? You feel. All right, moving down, my eyebrows, I feel like, have stayed consistent with their bushiness. See now these bags, they don't come with testosterone, unfortunately. I know they're like Gucci, they're designer bags, they cost a lot of money. Um, if you want them, you can go several nights without sleeping. That's what I do, but I mean. Also, my acne has slowed down. As soon as I got back from my trip, I shaved my face. I have not shaved. I think I shaved in October and it's now January. So I let my facial hair grow in just so I could see I was getting sideburns. I was like, hell yeah. Like, I was just so excited to see um, what my face was gonna produce, you know? Uh, but my acne kept getting worse. My face continually got more and more itchy, so I shaved. And now I have stubble growing back, which I've never been able to get stubble. Like, it's been thin blonde, like peach fuzz. And now it's actual darkish stubble. And it feels nice knowing that I have that growing in. Um, everybody's texting me. Um, also, I apologize if I'm looking in the viewfinder a lot. I'm just trying to point out things on my face. So if you see me looking over here, I do know to look into the lens. I'm not a beginner at this, so I apologize in advance. Moving on, um, my face shape changed a little bit. Next month... I'll be a year on testosterone, and I will show you all the Polaroids I have taken since being on testosterone. It's kind of wild. Y'all should be excited to see that. I'll be posting them in a little, like, collage on here, or montage type thing. So, get ready for that next month. I want to do something special for my one year on testosterone. And my best friend's birthday happens to be on the same day, February 11th. So, we're gonna try and celebrate something. I know I probably have to work, but like, we're gonna do something that day. Something big. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Um, my acne, we were just talking about that. Uh, it's slowed down since I shaved. I'm still trying to get it to go away. I ordered, um... A personalized kit from Cur Curology for like five bucks. I don't know if I'll continue the subscription because it is expensive and I'm about to not have a job soon so like I don't know. Uh, I just plan on starting the trial to see if it actually works for my face. I used 
Curology in the past and it didn't work for me. I used Proactive, didn't work for me. I use Cetaphil currently and that doesn't work for me. So I'm really trying to find something that works with my face. Acne is like one of my biggest insecurities right now and I really like, I can't stand it. So I'm trying to do everything to get it to calm down. Calm down. My kids are listening to kids ball. I'm sorry, people are texting me and they need to not. My neck has gotten thicker. Um gotten wider it is dope we're just gonna uh, hopefully the neighbors don't see me because I'm in front of my window right now and being shirtless in front of my window is a big no I haven't had top surgery yet it's gotten thicker my Adam's apple has become more prominent I am so pasty I have not gone to the beach in forever upper body I literally okay this is so funny I accidentally had the shortest setting on my razor and I didn't know that and I shaved and I was like, oh my god, there goes all my armpit hair I was upset for a second and then I was like, you know what? They need a break. They need a breather So I've been working out occasionally. I'm going to the gym today. I'm excited. I haven't gone to the gym in a while Ah, uh, I just looked down <laughs> Low dysphoria. I thought I took pictures of my back, but I'll just freaking show you. It's not much, but Oof. I don't know why my videos are so freaking long. I have so much editing to do, which is nice I don't mind editing. It's something I love to do actually I just don't have a lot of time for it because I'm so busy all the time next update my arms I don't even think you can see and I don't think I've ever showed my arms like Like as an update on camera, but they have just gotten so much hairier like I don't even know I don't have anything to compare it to but I've just noticed like when I'm in the shower and the water hits it, it does this thing that like my legs do. So I was like, oh, I'm getting hairier on my arms. And I'm starting to get hair like up the side of my hand, but there's hair that grows up the side of my hand and onto my knuckles. So that's fun. My hips, I literally need to work out so badly. I mean, I still lost weight, but like, I also just woke up, so yeah, my happy trail has gotten darker, it started to move up, I'm starting to get chest hair now, um, I think I mentioned that previously, oh yeah, oh yeah, we a skinny legend, skinny legend. I've lost a lot of weight since being on testosterone, since having my job that I have currently, um, eating a lot less, so. That's why I, and how I lost weight. I'm actually about to go weigh myself right now. Nope, stay. Um, I have not weighed myself in months, so we are just gonna, you know, do that right now. Everything I'm wearing is kind of heavy, so we'll see. Okay, I weigh 143. I am dropping weight, that makes me so happy. Oh my gosh, I've lost another three pounds. <laughs> That makes me so happy. I literally hate weighing myself. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But I weigh 143. What the hell? Like, what? I'm doing so good. I'm so happy. I was afraid that I was, like, weighing a lot because I'm very harsh on myself when it comes to my weight. And it's very stupid how badly I treat myself um, when it comes to like weighing myself but yeah so oh moving down <laughs> my legs i don't know why y'all like to see my legs they're just hairy like what do you what do you expect what do you expect is there anything else bottom growth still a thing um it's just happening at a slower pace thank god because that shit hurted <laughs> if you're trans you know exactly what i'm talking about um that shit hurted it badly. Overall, I think I had a lot of ups and downs this past year and my mental health um, being on testosterone has changed a lot. I think I'm just gonna make a separate video about mental changes because there's a lot that goes into that and it's very obnoxious. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, um, my appetite. Most of you know, if you've been here a while, you know that I like, have trouble having an appetite. I would like to say that the past few days, <laughs> the past like four days, my appetite has increased, but that's because I took my shot on Monday last week. So, um, 
Usually that happens. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. That was my 11 months on testosterone video. I can't wait for my one year on testosterone video next month. 12 months on T, one year on T, you know, I just, I want to make it special. I don't have anything really, like, planned out yet, but it's going to be, it's going to be very special. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Follow my socials below. If you guys want my Snapchat, I have an HJFam Snapchat. It's literally just called HJFam. I don't give out my personal Snapchat for reasons. Um, yes, yeah, so go follow me on TikTok, Hayden.Ezra. Same on Instagram, Hayden.Ezra. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.